When opening Excel, usually it takes you to this templates page. Uh, I really like this templates page. Um, I just want to show you briefly. Um, if you go to my templates, these are things that you've saved and I haven't saved any. Um, there are things for time management, such as calendars. Um, there's even, you know, a pros and cons list, uh, a to-do list. And these are basically all templates that are already in the program. Uh, inventory tracker, weekly timesheet, uh, personal finance. So you could do like a household budget, a wedding budget. Um, there's some things for business, such as 12-month cash flow, um, invoices. Um, and for teachers, there's even just graph paper. Um, if you'd like you know, to print out, say, a 5x5. Five five. This actually looks like more than 5x5. Five five, but um, you could you could print out these sort of templates um, just using Excel. Um, in addition, there are tons of online templates, so um, agendas, books, budgets, um, just tons and tons of different things that people have already created. Um, and so you could sort of use their template um, to make your own. So um, I just want you guys to know that all of this is available to you. Um, I'm I don't know, maybe, I, you know, these are things that I've created in this class, but let's just go to um, a new workbook. Oh, okay, good. Um, when you open Excel without using a template, it looks like this. It's basically a row from A to whatever letter you want to go to and numbered from one all the way down as far as you want to go. Okay, and one of the things you'll notice is that Excel has these sheets, and I'm in sheet one right now. Okay, so let's say that what I want to create is, um, well, I'll, I'll give an education example. Um, I want to create a list of my students, um, maybe some information about everybody. Um, so my first sort of, they call these cells. Um, I could write last name, um, and the next cell I could write first name. Um, and then some other information I want, might want to collect. Um, I don't know, let's say I asked everybody what their hobbies are on the first day of school. Maybe I have, you know, parent, I don't know if I could spell, parent, phone number, um, and I could keep, keep listing things that I might want to know. Um, if you double click in between these cells, it adjusts the width to fit the category, right? And so notice though how it makes this cell really long. Um, so another thing that you could do is actually click within the cell and then you would go to, I found this button to be very helpful, but it's called wrap text. Um, and when you click wrap text, what happens now is if I make this cell smaller, it will actually format the text to fit within whatever size cell I want it to be. Um, so that's a really important, so this is just wrap text. Um, next, let's say that I want these words to be in bold. I can actually select all the things I want to be in bold, and I can just click bold, and now they're all bold. Um, so let's say I'm entering in some data of students, like myself, um, my hobbies. Let's see, what are my hobbies? I like to garden. Um, and let's make up a phone number. Let's see, 706-8675309. We all know that number, right? Um, so this could be the phone number. Um, and I can have other information in this, in this file. Um, you could also make the text have different backgrounds. So if I wanted this to have a background color, um, I could just pick one of these colors. See how nice that looks? What you might notice though is that these cells kind of look like one cell now. And what you need to do in Excel if you want lines around all of your cells is to select everything that you've typed in and you'll go to this apply borders button and you can choose um, all different sorts of borders but the one I like to do is just all borders and notice how it puts a line around everything. Um, let's say that this basically, um, I'm just going to act like there's more information here. E, F, G, H, I. Okay. 
um, and I'm typing along and I really need all of this to fit on one page. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select everything and do the, the borders again. Um, I could go to File and Print just to see what it's going to look like. Um, and it looks like it cuts off part of my page. In fact, I can see where it's cutting it off. Um, as soon as you go to that file print, even if you cancel, you can kind of see how the pages are going to print out on your computer. So one of the things I like to do is, is go to layout. And I usually change my orientation to landscape. Um, notice how it now has the cells going this direction. Um, I can either choose to fit them into the printable area or I might have to just use two pages to print my information. Um, for now I'm just making these cells a lot smaller um, so they don't really have any data in it. Um, okay, it looks like this is all going to fit onto a page. Um, the other thing I could do is maybe I only want to print the information that's on this page and not this page. If I select from the top left corner to the right, uh, bottom right corner I can actually go to File, Print Area, and set this as my print area. Okay, so that when I go to print this, it's only going to print this page. And the reason that you don't see anything else is that this is the only area I've put borders around. Now, if I would have selected this whole document and said, um, let me go back to Home, let's put borders around everything, now watch, watch what happens when I go to print. So you can see that this page is now what will be printed. Okay. Okay, so that concludes part one of basically just setting up a really basic Excel file. I haven't entered any formulas. Um, this is really just something I create uh, to keep track of information at this point.